Charter Local Edition with your host, Dana Cowley. Welcome to Charter Local Edition. Today we're in the beautiful capital in Helena. My guest today is Shane Morajot. He is the Minority Whip. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell us what you're doing to help young people just getting out of high school, moving into their higher education um, this session. Sure, sure. So um, recognizing the, the need and the, the increasing uh, trillion dollar debt deficit debt uh, amount that students are taking on to go to go to college um, I took a hard look at uh, what we can do here in Montana to try and assist those students um, coming out of high school and also uh, our non-traditional students who come from jobs um, in, in industries where either they're looking for a career change or the industry uh, may be suffering here in Montana so I took a hard look at that. I looked at what some other states have done, such as uh, Tennessee and Oregon, and um, put a bill together, um, which is a it's a need-based grant program, which would be the only need-based need grant program in Montana. And what that program basically does is it it um, gives priority to those with the greatest need and allows them to access funding uh, to apply towards tuition and other living expenses for college. And the the need for that funding is coming um, even more greater uh, now that we uh, are seeing the budget and the budget in Montana, uh, the cuts that we're seeing across the board, and trying to come up with a balanced budget this session. And what we, we're seeing is that Montana is actually 48th in the nation for uh, funding to students in secondary, uh, in, per student and for secondary education. I think that's unacceptable, and I think Montana can do a better job. I think. Uh, by creating this, this grant program, we send a signal that Montana is open for business. We want to uh, create jobs. Uh, we want to take the jobs that are open right now. We actually have a 6,500 uh, jobs to fill in Montana. And so we're telling people across Montana and from other states that we're open for business. We're serious about keeping Montanans in Montana and uh, finding jobs for them here. So it, it really does a lot of different things. It helps our low income folks access education. Um, which now today is becoming ever uh, more important. We know that uh, finding a job today, uh, just to compete for pretty much any job, uh, we know that most people have a degree and it doesn't matter what you're applying for, that, that competition is there. So we want to create, I want to create and help create an equal playing, uh, a level field, playing field for people so that they can um, get jobs in Montana. Well, we need to make sure higher education is affordable, you know, to continue to facilitate our population, but also we need to make sure our schools are funded on the other yes. end of that to serve those students. Yes, um, that's very, very important as well, um, which is another thing. I'm a, a very strong uh, proponent of our higher education system. I live in Missoula, which has the University of Montana, um, where uh, my undergraduate and my uh, law where I went to law school and earned my Juris Doctor. So uh, that is very important to me, but also our K through 12 education is, is very important to me. I think our public schools, we know that when we make investments in our public schools, we see kids go to college. When we make investments in college, we see that kids or our young people go and get jobs in Montana. And I think that's what we're all after is the same thing. We want to see people succeed in life and see success. And Shane, I know also this legislative session, you're working on some movement toward uh, better use for public lands. Sure, so I think what we've seen in Montana, we just had the public lands rally, um, and I think what we're seeing in Montana is that people are very passionate about protecting one of our um, greatest resources, which is our public lands, being able to access our public lands for recreation uses, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever it is that you do, which is, is very important to people in my district in Missoula. Um, people in Missoula uh, really take public lands very seriously. They're passionate about being able to go out and, and spend time with their families and friends, uh, whether it's on the trails or whether it's at the river uh, fishing. So I think public lands is, is definitely something that is, is important to me as a, as a person that is, grew up here in Montana, um, hunting and, and doing outdoors activities as well. 
And speaking of those things, you grew up knowing, loving the people you serve, where you've been educated. Tell us a little bit about your district and the people who elected you. What, who are they? Um, what are they like? Their demographics? Sure. sure. So the people in uh, House District 95 in Missoula are, I often say, the, the they're like everywhere in Montana, right? We have, um, we have a, a, about 8% uh, makeup of American Indians. Uh, we have school teachers. We have nurses. Uh, we have people who work in, in uh, grocery stores and restaurants, and, and so I, we also have a lot of blue-collar workers. So in my district, it really has a really diverse group of people who um, care about uh, all the issues that we've already discussed. But um, they also, uh, the, the group of individuals in my district, um, you know, we have, walking through my district, I guess I should say, when I was knocking doors, um, you know, you can go one block where there's a group of trailer houses and then you can go to the next block and there'll be, you know, a two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar house. So, you, you have know, the big spreads. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of middle middle income and, and low income people in, in my district who are really looking to me to help them with um, things like health care. And, um, and making sure they have access to health care and making sure we get the funding for infrastructure, which is like our water treatment plants, um, our sewer systems and, and school funding for our schools. Because what that does is it creates jobs and those are the jobs and funding that folks in my district are depending on for their livelihood. So um, I'm really excited to be here to be able to uh, be their voice because without me here, um, you know, they, they have to depend on other people, which we, that's why our legislature is elected. But I'm really um, proud of the fact that, and honored that they gave me the opportunity to, to come here and, and represent them. Yeah, so thank you so much yeah. for being here. Thank you. We appreciate your time, and I wish you good luck with what you're doing. Appreciate and we thank that. you for watching. This is Charter Local Edition, and this is Shane Morajo. He's the Minority Whip. Charter Local Edition has been an exclusive presentation of Charter Communications. View all episodes at localeditiononline.com.